Get your calendars out. Summer is almost here. The kids will be out of school and they will be looking for something to do. And you want to kind of keep them reading. J.B. Monchik is here. She is the Public Information Coordinator with the Nicolay Federated Library System. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Hello. Now, you may know her, recognize her from being on the show before as the traveling baker, but yeah. this is your real world. My, my real job, <laughs> where I make money. I just don't travel and bake all the time. So, what yeah. is the Federal Library System? We are a, um, <clears throat> a consortium. Um, we're made up, we serve eight library, eight counties. Um, <clears throat> there's 42 public libraries in our system that we serve. We kind of do the, the behind the scenes work um, in public libraries. And you're all working together to provide these summer programs for kids? Yes. What, yes why, why make that a, a priority? Well, I, I just feel because, um, you know, again, kids, when they get out of school, they're not reading and they're not learning. You know, they're making progress during the school year. But, it, you know, studies have shown that if kids are not reading over the summer and doing those educational types of things, they do fall behind a little bit. They take when a they, little step back. They do when they start in September. So we don't really want them playing catch up. We want them reading over the summer and keeping those skills sharp. So the big theme this year is dig into reading. There's yes. a PSA. We're going to take a look at that yes. and then some of these other items. But what's the idea behind dig into reading? The idea behind dig into reading is really to explore and learn about um, you know, different things that are underground. So that might be animals underground, such as worms and spiders and snakes. Um, they might talk about uh, rocks or occupations that take place underground. It's really a broad theme that I think a lot of kids will find really enjoyable and fun. Well, the video was cute too. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. I, I bet the kids, if they see that, they'll be like, I wanna do that. Absolutely. So here's some of the stuff that's going on. Talk about what you've brought today. Well, these are just some flyers and information of some of the programs going on at local public libraries. Um, our system is actually sponsoring Fred Turk. Um, he's going to be performing at a lot of our libraries. As you can see, he'll be in Algoma at the Algoma Public Library in June. Um, Brown County Library will be doing a lot of programs. Um, you can pick I mean, up their flyers. And look at, I mean, it's just chock full of stuff, too. And where can you absolutely. get these flyers? Um, you should be able to get them soon at any Brown County location. Um, this flyer is for Door County Public Libraries. There's seven branches of uh, public libraries just in Door County alone. Um, last summer, over 7,000 children just in our system um, participated in last year's program. So we're hoping to increase that even more. I also like some of the books you brought. They look fantastic. Digging Dirt, and what's this one here? Uh, a Rock is Lively. It kind of talks about how rocks are formed and um, what kind of rocks there are. And kids don't have to read books about theme, the theme. They can read any book they want. Right. The idea is just to get them reading. And it could be reading audiobooks, not just um, physical books. Yeah, I like so. this one, too. It talks about respecting the worms that you find. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> and part of it. So with the program, you know, the more kids read, the more incentives there are. There are program motivators. Um, some r libraries are raffling off iPads or bikes or wow. really cool things. So again, it's to motivate them to read. Um, but we want to show them that reading is fun. And it's free. It's free, absolutely. So, yeah. Um, I know last year my kids got um, gift certificates to yes. go to local places, yes. water parks and, and other things. So that was that was cool. We, we do have an example. If, if you miss out on picking up some of these flyers, you can go on library's websites, absolutely. like the Brown County uh, Library's website, and get a list of all the information. Yeah, and I do want to point out that there are programs for teens and adults. It's not just for kids. So a lot of these libraries might have, um, should have teen and adult programs too. You know, we're all about lifelong learning and serving everybody. So check them out at your local library. Jamie's going to be back next in about half an hour. She's going to put her traveling baker <laughs> hat on now and we're going to make some awesome um, cakes that the kids yes. will certainly love and it kind of fits into this theme. Thanks yes, Jamie. You're welcome. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.